Yeah, I did get every mask, and Fierce Deity, uh, the Fierce Deity mask is the coolest fucking shit. <laughs> I don't care like, you know, how, like, fucking, you know, deviant our OC it is. <laughs> he's like, don't, I don't care, I'm a god, fuck it. I imagine anyone who's actually stuck around enough of my screens is just like, Okay, so Sozo, like, you you and your friends get, like, pissed off at games all the time, but it, like, I never hear you get pissed off at games, it's just like, that's because there's, they haven't set a game that actually would piss me off. Trust me, we've tried. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you won't get it! 2009. Gameville releases a game called Xenonia. It's an action RPG, takes it back to, like, sometime, like, The Legend of Zelda and whatnot, like, old school. And it was fucking good like it was so fun and on top of that it was available not just like it, it was a mobile game but it was also available on nintendo ds and the playstation portable and fucking android and apple for like three bucks it was so fucking fun for how much it was and then huh. like it's such a good it's such a good game and then they came out with the second one they were like okay we did pretty well with the first one 2010 comes out. It's like, all right, so we're making another game. Let's have a demo come out. They get, bring out a fucking demo for Xenonia 2, and everyone's like excited because like, oh man, like instead of just one character being the fucking being like the protagonist and just like uh the one character where it's like he gets all the weapons and everything. Now this time we have four different characters. And they all have their own stories, and it's just like, they're all great, and oh my god, is that a fucking marksman with tits? Like, oh my god, it's the best game ever! And like, fucking Xenonia 2, music, story, so fucking good. It's just like, it's absolutely a successor to the fucking original game in every single way, and it's so good. And everyone pretty much agreed that it was like the best sequel to a game like that. Everything seems to be on the up, up and end. Then 2011 comes by, and they're like, alright, so we had a pretty good success, and we made a lot of money off of Xenonia 2. Let's make Xenonia 3. Xenonia 3, not as good as 2, but still is still kind of fun. Game's kind of broken because it's like the combat is completely repetitive and whatnot, especially with their weapon choices. But that said, it actually was that bad. And then, it was like, you know, for a not that great of a capper to the fucking game series, but... Honestly, a pretty decent time overall. They were like, "All right, we gotta keep this. We gotta keep this hype train going." So let's make a Xenonia Four in the same fucking year. They come out with it. It looks phenomenal. It looks so much better than fucking Xenonia One, One Three. But this is where the game actually starts getting fucking dog shit because this is when they started be getting more live service and microtransactions. The games, they wanted to, Gabriel wanted to make more fucking money off of this game, so instead of just having the price be like, alright, let's have it like three bucks and no more, now, the game is fucking free to play, and also, they added in like microtransactions, and the fucking difficulty curve is boosted to the fucking nines. So much so that, like, you can't beat this game without pay to win. It's so fucking stupid, and on top of that, the fucking story... Oh my god, this story was like years before Nier Automata like really popularized the idea of okay, you beat the game once, you have to like beat all of them. Like how it's like honestly considering I think it took like inspiration from stuff like Sonic Adventure for like alright, you have to do more than one playthrough. Cause that was how it was. It was basically fucking time travel. Like you beat the game once and then you come back in time as your future self, and then you have to play the game again as your past self. And Conceptually, it's a nice idea, but for the fact that you had to pay money to play this fucking game and fucking beat it, it's so fucking stupid. And it's just like, okay, this is, this can't get any worse. Xenonia fucking 5. I was wrong. This game, it's Xenonia fucking 5, is absolute a fucking dog shit live service ass <laughs> microtransaction piece of shit mobile clicker. I fucking hate <laughs> Xenonia 5. Fuck that piece of shit, and I'm- and it's no wonder, and if you were thinking I'm like over- like exaggerating and everything, they literally had one more game in them, and it was Xenonia as Rift of Time, which was another dog shit game, and fucking- the game fucking just got discontinued after that shit. Fuck Xenonia after 
after fucking three, like, dear God, like, and you, and it's fucking even more bullshit because fucking Gameville stopped support for the fucking one through three games and only started supporting four through five. So if you wanted to play Peak Xenonia, you had to fucking have an old goddamn phone or tablet, otherwise the game was fucking unplayable. And especially for Xenonia 1, considering the fact that goddamn Nintendo, motherfucking, they stopped supporting Nintendo DS Store! Oh my fucking god! Ugh! And then, motherfucking, like, all of a sudden it's just like, thankfully, but thankfully, all of a sudden, thankfully, like, people on the most unlikely place, fucking Reddit, decided, hey, what the fuck happened to Xenonia 1 through 3? And they answered this by fucking downloading the assets to 1 through 3, and they made them now programmable and playable on modern devices. So thank you fucking that person who made re that Reddit mod for fucking Xenonia 1 through 3. You're absolute godsend, but fuck Game Bill, and fuck the people who took over Xenonia. You... Turn that fucking action RPG that was actually a fun game into an absolute dog ass fucking live service with microtransactions. Fuck you. There you go. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> See, the minute you said, oh, we, let's let's keep it going, I was like, oh, wait. Nope, yep, there it is. Sign of the Dark Time. <laughs> and you just popped off. And it was like. No, you know what? I'm gonna let him, let him finish. That is the angriest I've ever heard, so okay.